Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how to export the animation and make it usable in game. So first what you need is to go down in the description and look at the link uh, for this website here. That's the tutorial from the creator from the rig and you need this package here and of course everything has to be set up. Um, you need everything here. But for the files, which I'm going to show you next, you have to download this package here. So when you download it and open it, you get inside here. And under tools, we need assimilate, we need mod view, of course, and um, car case. You can find here a description how to install everything. Um, the next, what we need is under the assets, models, and the players, the into humanoid this folder here we need this whole stuff here that's um, all in-game animations from the original humanoid because we have to compile a fresh humanoid and add our animation so i set everything up here under source that's the let's say the <laughs> animation um, tutorial um, setup right now and what I what I'm doing now is I'm gonna um, go to my rig, go here to animation export, go to this drop down menu, click on animation export, and it gives you a message like this. Just press no. So you selected now the whole thing what we need for exporting. Just go um, to export, export selected just. So then you have to uh, um, use the soft image um, XSI exporter and I'm gonna export the animation directly into my source file here as XSI so and I like to override the or let's call it both oh, both make sure you write uh, with caps lock on both underscore um, stands tutorial so then we save it try to save it as I did right now it's I think it's the base the default um, settings but just make sure then click on OK it will export right now the animation So still exporting because it has 100 frames. It's a heavy animation for for the uh, exporter. And my laptop is slow because I'm taking right now the video. Let me close that one here. So so then I am in the right folder where I saved my new animation. And what I'm gonna do now is open the humanoid car file. With notepad in my case I have to double click but um, in your case maybe you have to right click so then I'm gonna go down 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 here and then I'm gonna go to the root that's the um, that's the line we're gonna add one line here gonna copy this whole thing here copy paste it in like that and now we need our name from the um, animation which we exported um, both stands tutorial so here just go to rename copy this whole thing and add it here so then we need this one here as well point x s i so and then we need to add it here so we're gonna save it and we don't need the searching anymore so now we just take our humanoid car and um, drop it over a assimilate um, yeah over assimilate so it says it's missing something okay 
that's not the pro problem here. It says um, our um, path is wrong because our path is completely wrong in Simulate. When you cannot close it, just go to the um, task manager, close it here. Let's close it. Yes. So um, double click on the simulate, then go to settings. Settings preference here and it says um, C compile that's right but we have D slash base base tools okay that's everything all right I had to change something maybe you don't have to do this but in my case I had to change something let's go and try it again so now it works as you can see it tried to load every animation in still loading <laughs> this is gonna take some time so it says it's ready it's loading even more and now when I'm gonna go down here we can see it's our stance animation which we added frame speed we should make it as loop so, uh, minus one is um, it does not repeat and change it to zero it will repeat just press ok so then we just click here on build now it's um, creating a new GLA file. Yeah, sorry, that's gonna take a while. That's total. That's totally okay. So sorry, I got a phone call. Um, after um, it's done, you will see this one that it worked. It seems to be okay. So we can close it now. Just double click on our humanoid GLM file. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So in your case, it shouldn't be white. It's because of my bad path, which I have right now. But when I'm going to take a look at the animation right now, it seems fine and let's take a look at my new animation which I've added seems to moving fine this one looks also fine so now I'm gonna go to the animation config and what I want to do now is searching for a stance animation both stands do fast. Let's take the both stands fast animation in the animation config and go down and change our both stands tutorial to both stands fast. Save it. And what I have to do now is going to take this one here and the humanoid GLA file or the GLI file which it's created for us. Let's go and um, where is it? Uh, so, okay, so we have here the XSI file, chill A file. Ah, okay, it's created it here. So, uh, where is it here? The max anim chill A file. We need the source file because I had a bad path I have that one here I need this one here and this one here we need to move it out so like that now we have here the maximum GLA file which we can rename to humanoid humanoid so so like that and we we have we can um, now Select our humanoid with our animation config and gonna um, we have to open up the game data folder, the base folder and the I think the asset one was it? Models players. Yes, that's the right one. There is the original humanoid here. And I just gonna do gonna open this one here. Gonna go back to the folder where my humanoid was. 
here at zero max anim here and the animation config and move it into the humanoid folder to override the old one you should always make a, a save a copy from that to make sure that nothing um, that nothing got destroyed or um, yeah that you have just this um, copy of it let's gonna override it here yes so it's done okay and then now I go and take a look in game how it looks um, how does the animation work um, I will show you directly the in-game footage give me a second so um, I'm back now because um, I found a little mistake which I made in the compile car um, you have to make sure that in the humanoid car in this file here you have set the right path to models players humanoid slash humanoid that in game it will work it will um, send the copy then to a folder which called humanoid here that's the original path you can you have to make sure that the path looks like this when you open it in hex editor um, that it looked like that and then when you started start the game in game give me a sec to show you then it will work because um, you will get a t-pose when you have not the right path so but let me show you that it works hey, uh, when, hey, when, I'm I, when I'm playing right now Can you help? then on, you will Ross. see the new way. stance which I added Jane, and it see will if you work can make your perfectly. way around there and the good thing is that we are using a that, that we are using right now let me close this one so that the good thing is that we're using right now a chill a file we can always work on our animation and switch the animation or better say we can always work on it overwork it and make it better and we can just um, change the animation uh, file which I made animation uh, no, tutorial so we can always overwork this animation and replace it with something else if we don't like it anymore so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial now you know how to create your own animations and how to implement them you have just to make sure that you use in an existing name if you ever want to create a new animation and um, call, give it a unique name then you have to code it in I have no idea how to do that don't ask me about how to code it in just that you know how to um, switch existing animations I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope I see you in the next tutorial bye bye